in a couple of days or rather I've just have not picked up my camera <sighs> not even a way more than a couple of days um, I thought that I would be able to participate a little bit in vlogmas but that didn't happen we'll try again next year maybe um, but yeah I hope you guys are good I I guess just thought I should come on here and say hi and let you guys know what I'm currently reading um, I recently finished The Burning God by RF Kuang it was really really good not as good as the first book or the second one so I gave this one like a four and a half stars where the other two were about a five star read for me I did not like the ending but I understand that if the author didn't end the book in that way the series would not be finished it needed it needed to end that way even though that's not the ending that I wanted but yeah um, that's that so currently I'm reading we were never here which is a thriller I'm kind of struggling a little bit like I only read one chapter and I'm about to jump on um, a reading sprint so I can get some reading done hopefully I can read like 100 pages but I've been feeling so lazy and so chilled and I haven't really wanted to force myself into reading or doing anything I don't want to do especially while I'm on holiday because I want to rest I want to be able to recuperate so yeah I haven't been reading much um, yesterday we took my daughter to pounds which was really fun I'll put some clips um, that was really fun and what do we do and then we played borderlands we played some uh, games on the playstation and i worked on my 2022 reading journal which i'll share with you guys probably in another video i'm not gonna s share like a setup with me reading journal i feel like that's too much work personally for me to record all of that and get the right setup and all of that and i am not yet comfortable in my art skills to be put under that much pressure to have you guys watch me do it but i will definitely share the spreads with you guys i'll do i'll definitely do a flip through when i'm done so i'll do that so yeah i'm reading we were never here i've only read about one chapter uh so far nothing's really happened um we have these two friends who grew up together in the same town but then they separated when they went when one of them went to work in australia and once in a while they come together and they go to holiday together so nothing has really happened yet but i know one of the friends i think her name is emily or amelia she seems to have um had a bit of traumatic experience um relating to men um because she gets very anxious when a man looks at her a certain way or you know so they haven't really explained to us yet what had happened to her but that's what i've picked up so far um so they are on holiday in the middle of i don't know nowhere and i'm still gonna see how the story unfolds i've been trying to get into it but i don't know what what reading mood i'm in <sighs> maybe this is what happens when i finish a book that like i was highly anticipating and <sighs> really enjoying and keeping me on my toes like the burning god and now i have to like ease through another book which can tend to be a little bit difficult for me so i'm trying to find my groove again so i'm trying to read a bit um the other thing i want to do today is work on my bullet journal again so i i was busy with the books read in 2022 spread um as well as my backlist guys my backlist is so long i have at least 120 books on my backlist that i'm still filling in and yeah i need to do that and maybe i'll do my 2022 reading goals 
or goals spread in general i still need to figure out what to do with that and and yeah um the rest is just hopefully just to chill and i would like to edit a video or two i don't know i haven't edited videos in a very long time and now i'm freaking out <laughs> um because i have a lot of footage that's waiting for me to edit i need to do some well i'm busy doing some laundry if you could hear in the background i need to iron some laundry and yeah do a bit of tidying up in my closet get rid of clothes that i'm not wearing and yeah we'll see i'm already packing way too many things for myself and i'm gonna be playing some games today with my husband and um my brother-in-law and cousin-in-law so we're gonna be playing modern warfare i think we game was busy downloading so we're gonna play that today and i want to watch a movie i want to watch um how to ruin christmas part two the first one was the wedding i forgot what they're calling the second one but i'm gonna watch that on netflix we binge watched the matrix in preparation for um the new movie coming out so yeah that's that's the plan for today i just recorded a reel right now slash tiktok of a book haul so i want to edit that reel right now and post that i haven't even been posting on my bookstagram that much so yeah Ugh. guys i'm just trying to take a break that's what i'm trying to do my body my mind is forcing me to take a break because it seems i'm not gonna be doing it any other way so yeah that's what it is um i'll catch up with you guys later
the last week? I have no idea. If, if I did, welcome to another day. Today is Tuesday, the 28th of December. And I just wanted to give you guys kind of like a reading update, let you know what I'm reading this week. I, uh, where am I? So I am currently reading We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. So this book follows two friends, Emily and Kristen, who have been best friends since college and they live in separate cities since they started working but like once a year or so they meet up with each other to go on holiday together oh. good morning okay so it follows these two friends who go on holiday together and the last time they went on holiday together something um traumatic happened to emily and in the beginning of the book it doesn't actually tell you what that traumatic experience is and i don't think i should say either because i guess it ties up to what happens in the rest of, in the rest of the story but something happened to emily which resulted in something else bad happening and then they went to another trip a year later and then the same thing happened again to Kristen and the following bad thing happened <laughs> I'm saying absolutely nothing about this book but yeah um, let me just read to you what the synopsis says so the synopsis says Emily is on holiday with her best friend Kristen in the stunning mountains of Chile they are having the time of their lives until on the last day of the trip Emily enters the hotel suite to find it covered in blood I'm just gonna leave it there <laughs> Um, I am currently on page, I'm currently on page 113 of this book. In the beginning, it was taking a bit of time to kind of like get into it for me. Um, but now I'm in the heart of the story and I just, there's just a lot of pages left and I feel like something is going to happen again something bad is just gonna happen again um the author does do quite a lot of repetitions in the book you guys know how much i don't like repetitions but yeah there's a lot of repetitions and i'm not enjoying that but at least now the story is moving along and i'm looking forward to seeing how that's gonna go there is one thing that i believe Kristen is responsible for they have not confirmed it yet but i have a feeling that she's responsible but yeah that's what i'm currently reading okay i also read a chapter of skin of the sea by natasha bowen um so far so good i like that it's it's kind of quick um the story follows simidele who is one of the mummy water so it's a mermaid and it seems like to become a mermaid um she was rescued from a slave ship and in the first chapter somebody was already thrown into the water and she tries to save this person but they were already dead and her job as a mummy is a yeah her job as a mummy water is to basically collect their souls and um guide them into a safe journey home with their god but i don't know what's gonna happen um i think she's probably still gonna save a couple of people and yeah and this book has trigger warnings that i love that the author actually included in the note I like that the author actually included um, the trigger warning in the beginning of the book so you know what to look out for. So it says, before you begin reading, please be aware that parts of this book may be triggering for some readers. Skin of the Sea blends 15th century history with fantasy and there are depictions of violence, enslavement, death and suicide. Yeah, looking forward to continuing with this one. I also started peanut jones and the illustrated city such a cute well such a cute book with very cute illustrations like look at peanut over there isn't she just so cute 
like look at peanut over there isn't she She's so cute um i'm currently on page three this is a quick read um for me it's middle grade i just haven't picked it up in a couple of days it probably could have been way further in the book but um i don't i don't actually know what the book is about i don't really care um i just know that i want to read it and um reading it <laughs> i'm reading it so far so good by the way so yeah that's these are the three books that i am reading this week that i hope to finish before picking up anything else i think probably the next thing i would want to pick up would be either a court of mist and fury or the fifth season or the fifth season i don't know i have to see what i'm in the mood for but i think after this i'll be in the mood for kind of like a um, high action fantasy and i think those two books will probably do that for me but yeah that's my uh books that i'm reading today uh, it looks so nice outside it's a nice bright blue sky sunny day which i'm grateful for um because my husband and i are going on a little getaway we're going to rosemary hill and i would like to promise you some footage but honestly i don't know if i'll get the chance to really do any kind of recording i am definitely gonna share kind of like um, a room tour of where we're staying so we're staying in one of their um i i forgot what they called i'm trying to look for the name i don't actually don't remember what the name is but we're staying at one of those places and i'm really excited i'm really excited um we really need it this getaway it's been long overdue and i'm glad that it's finally happening so we are gonna go today um we'll be back on the 30th so we're going for about two nights and yeah i need to actually book our activities because up until this morning we didn't have a sitter <laughs> for our daughter but i'm glad that we got a sitter now so we can go ahead with some of the bookings I couldn't book anything because I didn't know what was happening with my daughter yet. So yeah, um, but yeah, I wanna, uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna be booking the activities um, and we got a book stack for my cousin that I'm gonna borrow um, some books to. Maybe let me show you. I don't know if you care, but this is what I'm borrowing her. Um, that's the sound of my daughter screaming. Um, she already has the first and second book of The Poppy War. I'm going to be borrowing her The Gilded Ones, A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, a Beautifully Foolish Endeavor so she can finish the duology, um, Grown, and Monday's Not Coming. So, yeah, I like, I like to kind of like borrow books to family and friends because I like talking to people who like reading about books you know if you know you know but yeah so so we're gonna be driving to four ways to go drop off my daughter then i'm gonna drop off these books um and then then we're gonna head to rosemary hill right now it's currently like 20 past nine so i am going to i'm gonna do my nails i'm just gonna do a nude color because my nails are now even shorter than they were before so i'm just gonna do a new color or maybe red i hope the red will look good on my short nails because i've got red on my toenails so i'm gonna do that um, i'm gonna make some breakfast for my daughter since she's the only one who actually eats breakfast in this house and then we need to do some packing guys i'm just looking outside I'm, I'm i'm just excited i hope that the weather just does us right and it stays nice and warm and dry for the next three days please please 
I'm begging. I haven't even like had a chance to sit outside in my garden this December. I have not because it's been raining and the grass has been damp. And when I sit outside, I like to sit on the grass. I don't want to go on the grass with the chair and sit there. It for me defeats the purpose. I'd like to like lay a blanket and lay down on the grass and just read and enjoy the sun and i haven't been able to do that because it's either we are not at home this december or it's raining and yeah so that's the plan um that's it i guess i'll <laughs> catch up with you guys later maybe i'll make a, a cup of coffee and get to some packing and doing my nails and booking these activities so yeah i'll catch up with you guys later i just recorded a video um my 22 fantasy slash sci-fi books to read in 2022 which includes basically most of the books that i own on my sh or all of the books i own on my shelves and it's books that i want to read and finish before the end of next year so i'm going to be doing that so yeah i'll catch up with you guys later let me tidy up these books because now there's books all around me <laughs> and also check out my bookstagram um i'll link it down below but it is booked on charity if you just search booked on charity one word no spaces no underscores no nothing then you'll find me there and you'll find my page welcome to her home for the next two nights coming in okay the, we have a door right here which leads to the bathroom take off my glasses which leads to the bathroom which is really cute it's a really cute bathroom really cute shower nice shower head and nice Hi, say hi, babe. <laughs> and then we have a little kitchenette. I like how everything is like matte, matte black. We've got our fridge, our microwaves. Oh, they even left us some rusts and cookies. And then an espresso machine. And we've got our bed, which is nice and cozy. And oh, I didn't even see that we have a ladder to go upstairs. I'm not sure what's upstairs, if it's just for chilling. Let me try and see. There's actually nothing, but I guess you could sit up here or a child can sleep up there. But yeah, this is our space. Um, we just go outside. Oh, this is our patio space with this cute outside lounge chair. We've got a pond and a beautiful view. And we've got this chill spot that I'll be utilizing probably in the mornings when I do my reading. But this is our space for the next two days, well, three days, or two and a half. And yeah, me and the hubs are just gonna be relaxing, taking it easy. Did you pause my video? <laughs> no, I didn't. I'm waiting for you to finish. Oh, it's hot. Yes.
guys um today's saturday the 8th of january and it is currently 8 27 in the morning i just want to give you a reading update i am still busy with one of us is lying by karen mcmanus guys this book is so good um i thought i would get really far yesterday with it but i was so tired i was so tired that i I couldn't I couldn't continue um, but right now I am on page 155 and right now it looks like to me from what from a sentence that I read it looks like Cooper might have done it I'm not sure but he's he's my main character I'm I think that um, Kupu might have done it. I'm not sure, but he's my main suspect for now. I don't believe Bronwyn did it. I don't even think Nate did it. Well, I never thought Nate did it. I always thought that he was the easy target because he's not coming from a wealthy family. He's coming from a broken family and all that. And um, because he's gotten into trouble before and he's currently on probation, people thought that he would do it. But I feel like because he's gone through all of that um he's not even gonna take the chance and he doesn't even care that much to you know ensue revenge like that but i feel like cooper i don't trust him i don't trust cooper at all so um the plan for today like i'm basically almost halfway the plan for today is hopefully finish this book um i need to clean up the house um and fetch my mom around 12 30 so we can go um clothing shopping for the babies and my daughter as well as my brother's daughter and then drop her off at home come back i don't know what time and then i have uh, um and uh, around 5 p.m i have a uh, um hair appointment with my daughter or for my daughter so i have to take her to the salon to do her hair unfortunately that was the only time they have left and um i'm taking my book with me if i have not even if i've not finished reading it by then so that i can finish reading it while i wait for her hair to get done um guys i'm not i enjoyed i loved do, taking care of my daughter's hair um from birth basically I've been the one doing her hair taking care of her hair and she had beautiful 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 coils beautiful big hair big afro but the older she got the less inclined she was for me to do her hair every time I touched it she would complain she wouldn't she would start crying even though I'm not really doing anything yet and doing her hair became such a mission which meant detangling her hair became an even bigger mission if she didn't want me to touch her hair detangling it was just not gonna happen so um and we kept her hair natural because that's that's what i wanted for her to have natural hair and um now it, like detangling her hair became such a mission and it would take me two days to do her hair and i would try to do it in such a way that it could last for two weeks like do two strand twists that would last for two weeks but that became too much work and now i ended up leaving those two strand with um twist to actually grow up and kind of like coil in each other and now she has dreadlocks so <laughs> We have dreadlocks now um and again she doesn't want me to twist her dreadlocks so i'm taking her to the salon um yes she still cried when she was at the salon but when she did cry it was because it, it was actually painful not me just like she cries when i touch her hair so i just i can't do it anymore um it, it was not okay for both of us so now i can sit back and be her savior um if maybe her hair is being pulled i can be the savior i i, I stop being the bad guy i don't want to be the bad guy anymore so yeah so that's what we're doing it's costing me a lot m m more money than 
needs to but I think once she gets used to it and once she's comfortable again then maybe I can go back to doing her hair because um, I'm pretty good at doing hair I do my own hair I, I braid my own hair I used to have dreadlocks so I would twist my own dreadlocks so yeah as soon as she can understand that her hair has to be touched then it's fine at least at the salon I can push the idea of Papas, what kind of hair do you want? And she's like, Mama, I want blue hair. And I'm like, okay, we're gonna get you blue hair when we go to the salon. Cause, yeah, Mama can't provide blue hair by herself yet. So, yeah, um, that's what we're gonna do. And probably come back home and show, um, maybe play some games. I haven't played, um, PlayStation in a while so I hope that I can get a lot of reading done so that I'm comfortable playing because whenever it's time to play I have to, I like I think about how much have I read and if I haven't read a lot I feel like okay I need to read let me read a bit and then I can play with you guys um, so yeah that's the plan for the day um, hopefully I can finish this book and then I can finish close off this vlog tomorrow and then we can start with a new book and a new vlog and keep my vlogs to one week at a time which probably means one book at a time which it's okay i'm okay with okay fine i'm not okay with because my goal is to read 60 books this year and um yeah i i need to not read i need to read more than one book a week and I know it is possible, especially when I listen to audiobooks, but I haven't really been in the mood to listen to an audiobook uh, lately, so I haven't been doing it. And I, I don't want to force myself, and I don't want to start 10 books at the same time like I did last year. I'm trying to keep it to one book at a time, read that, finish it, move on to the next one. Only when I get tired and I feel like I need something else, then I can start a second book, but I don't want to have 10 books going on at the same time <sighs> unless I have an, uh, a non-fiction then then I can like read the non-fiction here and there so yeah that's the plan for the day um, I'll catch up with you guys later Hello you guys, I'm um, just coming on here to close off this vlog. Today is Monday the 10th of um, January and it's currently 5 minutes past 5 in the afternoon. I just got home. Um, so in this vlog I read and finished One of Us is Lying which is a YA thriller in which five students get sent to detention for having their phones in class and then one of them ends up dying during detention because of a peanut allergy so the water that they drank while they were in class had a high concentration of peanut oil in it and now um, everybody thinks they did it and they, the whole in the whole book you're trying to figure out who the killer is and I must say I thought I knew who the killer was but I was so so wrong I was so wrong and I was so surprised when it happens and I enjoy a thriller sorry my hands are getting tired but I enjoy a thriller where 
I have no idea what's going on up until the end and what I mean by that is I cannot figure out who the killer is every time you think it's someone the evidence kind of changes and points for somebody else one thing I knew for sure that it was not Bronwyn and it was not Nate that is something that I was 100% sure of but the other two I did not trust so much and at the end of the day I thought maybe it's somebody outside of the group but yeah it was really really fun to read um it's written really well it's funny um there's a bit of romance in there that made me feel happy and giddy and uh, i really really enjoyed this book um i'm giving this book a four and a half stars um <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it i don't think that it was perfect but i mean on Goodreads I gave it a five stars but on Storygraph I give it a four and a half stars so yeah I really had fun with it and I can't wait to read the rest of the books so I'm just gonna put it over here so that's it for this vlog thank you guys so much for watching remember to click the subscribe button down below to subscribe to my channel so that you can be able to see all my future videos and also my past videos don't be shy go on and scroll through my feed i have like 50 plus videos that i've done so far so um be sure to check all of those out while you wait for new videos and remember to give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel get noticed on youtube and i'll see you guys till next time there are links in the description box to all my social medias as well as trial links to script um skillshare all that jazz so enjoy